Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel And we're going to be coming to another segment of Why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business Why not? Because I can can and I can can I can can I can can and I will Okay We're going to be talking about My channel <laughs> No guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Dev Chanel 48th World Make sure you like and share and subscribe to the channel okay if you like the content that i am giving out which really should be up your alley because everybody wants to laugh and get a little pondering moment going on okay that's what we do over here laugh 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 try to make light of certain situations light-hearted situations on celebrities okay and thank you for watching and all my stuff is allegedly done over here and opinionated from my own mouth okay <laughs> nothing is taken out of context because i don't know if this stuff is true that i'm talking about it just happens to be salacious half of the time and today we're getting our story from Atlanta black star candy burst is going on a little tiff a little rant a little embarrassment that she feels she is not doing her motherly duties and that is so not true Everybody knows Candy Burris as a hard-working entertainer, TV personality person. Okay, Candy is 45 right now in May of this year. She will be 46. And the stuff that she has accomplished, you can't do anything but salute her. Okay? <coughs> She's very well outgoing. She knows what she wants and she knows she wants to be in the entertainment field. Okay, who can blame her? Everybody has a choice and a career to pursue. She didn't want to go to school or anything like that. She wanted to be a singer and branch off into other avenues of the in industry or the entertainment industry. And she's doing very well. Okay. Okay. So, just a little bit about Candy. You know, she's on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Been here for 10 plus years. She was a part of the Shy network series um uh, you know she was playing something on some sitcom i never got a chance to watch it never really wanted to she was on the mass singer okay and she was on celebrity big brother she's an american actress and producer she's a mother wife television personality singer background let's keep that you know pretty much in in check there she's not a beyonce she, you know she she's she can hold a tune, but she's not a um what can I say a, a solo artist singer you know where you want to come see her and she perform. Nah, she's more like a background singer, but she, you know she can hold a tune. Uh, she's a very good businesswoman, very astute businesswoman. She always try to keep herself busy and her portfolios for us the money revenue streams, uh, thriving and and definitely growing. So and. Lord, I didn't know the child's birthday was on my mama's birthday and that she was a Taurus. Now I can understand her total, you know, displacement when she gets angry and, you know, she wants people to do what she tells them to do when she wants them to do it. Because my mom is the same damn way. She is a brutal Taurus. And I did not know she shared my mother's birthday, which is May 17th. So go figure. Okay, you got to love her. You might not like all the things she do and behave like, you know, when she try to take care of me and this that and the third but it's just who she is she's a giver um and she actually is a songwriter as well okay miss candy lanice burris slash tucker all right but you know we, we were there when um riley had kind of got in candy's ass and said you know you don't need no more babies and this was when she was trying to carry ace she said uh -uh, you, don't, you don't need no more children because you, you weren't there for me you were on the road all the time flying away here flying away there catching a train here catching a bus there you know you were driving in your own uh, car trying to make this money okay and that was a hot mess for me growing up that's what pretty much uh, riley had told her you were never down at home for me and so she, i guess riley feeling herself feeling kind of you know angry about you know her trying to bring more children thinking she gonna take care of them or be the babysitter and i said hell no nah, we finna do that i got freedom coming in about uh, at the time <laughs> i think it was like 
three more years and then she was been off in college but it's you know it's been a, a, a ways and we saw R- riley grow up before our eyes on tv so i appreciate candy you know letting us have a little insight of her life her personal life and the children uh evolving that she's brought into the world with the help of her husband todd you know but she's getting on herself really bad about missing little little blazes mixing up her little outfits i'm saying damn candy you got in private school but she tell them to cut that shit out you want to send your child wherever you want to send her. if you, you put her on a male outfit and she should have been on a tutu with fuck like that you know she down teach her okay everybody look cute around now they don't need to be sitting about worry about cause ace came in her um postman outfit and she should have been in her pocahontas outfit hell she could do the same thing but it must be a, a, a no a little different outfit a little co- different career outfit and we could work with it but candy she, <laughs> she, she just be on the go too much she got too much on her plate and riley tried to tell her that but she feels that she could do it all and and, and um She's not going to let anybody tell her any different. So if she messes up on a couple of outfits, it just is what it is. Yep. And, you know, at first I didn't really care for Candy because, she, you know, I felt she was, you know, messing with Block and he was married. But, you know, I'm like, I can't look at it one side. I got to look at both sides. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when, when Rod was having her difficulties with her dad and they were showing it on Real Housewives of Atlanta and all the different makeups and, and uh compartments they were trying to say that developed around the storyline that mama joyce was definitely a part of and and not being positive toward the relationship that she was in with block uh, i don't know if block told candy she you know he's gonna leave here why he wasn't happy at home and he just wanted to get in her pants and then he got in her pants a couple of times and maybe the story started changing he just wanted to have candy as a side chick so i know it probably wasn't her all together it was a, a lot of block and a lot of her and it really shouldn't have been where it is you know but you know men tell lies women tell lies you know make us make it it seems like their situation with their spouse is you know dire um it's dying or it's in dire constraints and they just want to feel loved and they just want to get the attention from somebody else or anybody else they want to give it to them other than their spouse so as I got older and I started understanding things, you know, how men do lie. Because I was in a sort of situation. But I found out real quick. And I 86 that idea. But, like, don't call me no more. This, this ain't good. Because if you do it to her, you're going to do it to me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and thank God I never saw the woman, met the woman, never talked to the woman. Because that would have been bad. I would feel like, hey, I need to tell you about what your husband doing out here. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, this is what it is. You know, I'm sure... Most women don't go through that. A handful of women go through it. But once you recognize it, you know it ain't good. Leave it alone. Just let it fall where it needs to be. And so, you know, Candy, I, from my, I understand she really did want to leave it alone. But it, it came to be what it is, what it is. You know what I'm saying? And um, Riley was feeling some kind of way. And maybe she has a point of not feeling connected to her mom, especially when she married somebody. Uh, and then start a new family and then she just trying to figure out where she was in the uh, triangle of the, uh, um, of the situation and you know Candy was trying to make Todd be you know more in her life instead of her real dad and, you know Rob said fuck it I got me and I got the Lord and that's all I need <laughs> so I'm gonna write down for her but I tell you Candy got some very strong genes because baby Blaze knows she favors her mom candy and ace do too but he kind of looked a little bit like todd as well you know got some of his genes in them but we know todd ain't going nowhere mm-hmm. he likes the situation because i'm still trying to figure out what he do but that's on another video okay that's gonna be on another video and then when she brings out her new show uh can in the game we can probably see what the hell todd has got going on after so many years of not seeing him doing anything so that would be a great teaser but yes, honey, can you just got to understand that you're busy. And if you don't keep the children's schedule locked on your phone, it's kind of impossible. Especially if you don't have a good assistant that's like right there telling you, nope, you got this, this, this to do. And this is what you need to do for baby Blaze. Or this is what you need to do for baby Ace. Uh, and things of that nature. So she's still probably trying to take care of a lot of things herself. And not, I don't even know really if she have an assistant. 
but it just is what it is. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself, can it? Because if you're trying to build a, a legacy and you're the only one doing it, you know, because Todd, you know, t definitely he can start up that day to, uh, daddy, daddy daycare again and make sure everybody's in point. At point, you know, instead of him chasing you around and maybe you using him as your assistant, maybe he just need to fall back and take care of them kids in school and then he'll have a schedule. But I know that's probably beneath him and he ain't going to want to do it and this, that, and the third. This is going to be a hot mess. But your situation is not a hot mess, Candy. You forgot. Hey, it happens. Okay, when you're a busy lady like yourself trying to solidify and cement some good revenue streams for yourself and your uh, old age when you come to want to retire and things of that nature and just fostering your kids through college if they want to go to college maybe they want to start up their own business and they are very lucrative of what they're doing their you know their brand on or whatever um they may be trying to bring out to the masses to the public but you, you're setting a great example you know you're a wonderful mother you're a wonderful daughter I'm sure Mama Joyce can contest to that because you give her the world and then some and why not? You have the revenue to do it. And I'm pretty sure Riley appreciates all the hard work with you giving her, you know, freedom to be herself and then go to the college that she wanted of her choice. So hopefully she can take care of you and treat you royally when you get in your old age. Even though I'm pretty sure you're going to have your money on debt. But it's good to know that you help somebody else, especially your children. And they just daunt on you with gifts and love and showering you. That like, mama, you ain't got to get that. I got that. I know you got it, but I got you. You know, it's just a lovely feeling that you can have. Uh, when, you know, you did well with raising your children. They want to look back and, and try to take care of you um, like you did them. And that's a cute, honorable thing. So, my thing is, Candy, don't be so hard on yourself. It just is what it is. You can't do it all because when you too much physically, mentally think about it, you're going to send yourself in a tailspin. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. At least you ain't send the child butt naked nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But then that would have been some serious offenses right there. And then I would have to come on my YouTube channel and try to drag you for filth. You know what I'm saying? As long as you got the baby, babe. She smell good. She look good. And she got clothes on, baby. It's okay. All right? It is okay. And forget these these things these children got going on here because these uh, educators want to have you doing this, that, and third. Hell, it's enough to get them fed, clothed, bathed, and sent to school on time. Hell, that, they don't know what that is. You know, because most of the teachers don't have children. Their children are the ones that are in the classroom. But they don't have to do nothing but tell them to sit still and listen and learn. But then, you know, you send them back to the the, their families or, the, you know, their mamas and dads or whoever's, you know, their guardian is. And then they have to take up the slack, you know, doing the other things. So, you're doing fine, Candy. Just uh, either cut down on your workload so you can concentrate a little bit more. Or you need to get you a better day planner. Or you need to get you an assistant, okay, if you want to be on point with everything happening with plays and ace. Because them, them, them damn school and the school system will run you crazy. They will run you ragged. Telling you, you need your child to have this, that, and the third. You need to come to this function on this date, on this time. And, you know, you, all of them just get confused. And you're like, hell, wait, wait a minute now. This is not supposed to be so hard. You know what I'm saying? I work. I pay taxes. I can eat sure what they need. I don't need these teachers to be making up shit. Every time, you know, a, a holiday come or a, a celebration need to be had, you know, give give the parents a, a, a time to relax in their minds, okay? Give them some time just to send their children to school to learn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not dress up as they said so-and-so. Okay, and then you're going to throw salt on their name because they didn't bring the child in the right outfit on the right day and the right time. <laughs> okay? But anyway, let's go into Atlanta Black Star, see what they wrote up on Miss Candy Burris on her ways of forgetting her daughter outfit and she feeling some kind of way, holding herself accountable. And I like that too. It's good to hold yourself accountable. But honey, when you got all what you got going on and you don't seem to have no plans of stopping, there are going to be little hiccups and bumps along the way. You just take them in stride and keep on moving, okay? Uh, but anyway, uh, Nicole Duncan Smith wrote up this article with Atlanta Black Star, and she titled it, Gonna Get That Black Girl Magic Again Next Week. Candy Burris reveals she accidentally sent her daughter to school in the wrong outfit again. Okay, I'm like, damn, Candy, who keeping school? The, the, the teachers, the school system, are you, boo? Or all three of y'all? 
Then I got I got to get on all three of y'all. Y'all crazy. You can't remember everything all the time. Things are always changing. <coughs> Schedules are always changing. People are always changing. Get a grip. Relax, relate, release. Okay. Breathe. Do that yoga breathing. Breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Exhale out. Okay, but let's go on into this article. It says candy burrs, one of the hardest working women in Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, might need to slow down. The, the second time in the year, wait a minute, for the second time in the school year, the single turned reality star has sent her two year old daughter to her pre K class dressed in a costume on the wrong day. They escaped member took to social media to share with the fans just how absent-minded she has been she captured the post i need to do better about reading the notices from at blaze tucker school i dressed her up for her black history program on the wrong day in the video she details for fans the mistake saying well y'all i did it again i done sent my baby to school dressed in her costume on the wrong day I did the same thing around Halloween when she was dressed like the male lady when she wasn't even supposed to be dressed like that. That day, she called in the Instagram video. Birds even had the date of the memory wrong. On September 3rd, or the 30th, the mother of three posted that she sent her daughter to school dressed like the postal worker a week before the class saluted community helpers. So my baby Blaze Tucker class were supposed to dress like community helpers. I sent Blaze to school as a mail carrier. Now realizing it was supposed to be the next Thursday. She was cute though. Fans let the mom have it last fall. Commenting that the little girl gave her the side eye. And that Blaze face is saying, Ma, you have one job. <laughs> you had one job. And that's absolutely true. If Candy had one job, but Candy ain't finna give up and, and give up no job opportunities. So we just need to get it together. We need to check Baby Blaze. Say, Baby, you know what? This is our day. This is our world. We do what we want to do. What do you want to wear? And if she would have went to school with a tutu, damn, let the girl go to school in a tutu. Okay? Chastise me, not my daughter. Okay? And because I'm going to forget about it once you don't say it your piece or whatever. And I'm like, mm hmm, okay. I'll do better. And that's it. I ain't going to think about it no more. If the girl was happy, she would plan and carrying on. Shit, that's what happens. Shit happens, okay? We move on. We discuss about We talk about it. We discuss it. And we try not to let it happen again. But sometimes it happens again. Well, damn, it happened again, okay? It didn't kill nobody. It didn't stress nobody out. Okay, the girl had on clothes. and like a son of him butt naked. And she was playing Adam and Eve when they came in the world together. Okay, no. Had a girl on some clothes, just the wrong day, the wrong outfit. That's it. Deal with it. But anyway, uh, this time Burr shared a video of the toddler in full joy mode, leaping in excitement to represent a brown-faced Olympian gold winner. She stated, today I sent her to school as Gabby Douglas. That's supported, or that's supposed to have happened on Monday. Not today. Loving Hip Hop Atlanta cast member Rashida Frost, another Atlanta native, wrote in the comments, I promise you, I had to read them emails like five times and put a reminder in my phone. The little princess rocked a pink lavender and silver leotard with matching sneakers. Her hair was done up in the classic black girl magic hairstyle, cone rose, and multiple pastel colored beads. Her mom, oh, her mom couldn't help but laugh at her silly mix-up and doped on how amazing the sweetheart looked. She was so cute, mom chuckles. Well, I guess she's just going to be cute again on Monday. Uh, many of Candy's celebrity friends jumped in to let her know that she was not alone. Her hubby, Todd Tucker, hoped, hopped in the comments referencing a movie by saying, Mommy, daycare. Actress Drew Sador said, Ah, it's okay, friend. I've done it. Uh, I've done that before, too. TV host Tanika Ray, who happens to be the mom of her own little princess nickname, Munch, agreed that Monday needs to get the repeat gymnastic glory. They just uh, gonna get that black girl magic again next week. She wrote, "How's her somersault? Hit them with that new stunt." Burris had a number of businesses, starting with a Grammy winning a publishing company, her adult toy line, real estate, um, 
restaurant chain, and more. The CEO has worked hard to amass a network of purported 30 million to 40 million, and according to her social media, is almost always trying to move her coma, her comma, to what they put, well, okay, her comma to the next decimal place higher. She's a busy lady. And with all the hearts in the comments section, fans gave her a pass this time. Well, honey, Candy had to give you a pass this time, next time, and in time it happens in the future, okay? It just is what it is. Just let them damn kids go to school and let them come and sh be show and tell whenever they want to do show and tell. You know what I'm saying? That would be more appropriate in my world. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. If they ain't falling between them Christmas, the Halloween, um, Easter, and all that kind of stuff, but, it, it, you know, you can't help but remember it, then it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Hell, a child go up there in a clown costume if you want her to be in a class. She want to be in a tutu or clown outfit. Hell, let her go to school in a clown and tutu outfit. Shit. You already paying a, a, a what? Out the roof for her education being there. Okay? Give you so, yourself some reprieve there. Alright? But that's all I got. That's all I got, y'all, for this video. Y'all get down in them comments and, and um let me know how y'all feel about Ken sending her child mistakenly in the wrong outfit does it really matter at the end of the day it's a child learning anything so she can go on up to uh, first grade second grade and third grade okay and she can't have to put her in another school private school to uh make sure she got all her education things she needs can she count can she say recite her alphabets can she tell you what if i point out a different letter of the alphabet is she gonna be able to tell me that okay that's what I'm going to look for. And that's what the uh, educational system is looking for too. Because you pass all these standardized tests. They ain't going to ask you. What's, uh, does she remember to come to school in the right damn outfit? That y'all want her to celebrate and dress up in? Like makeup? You know, what do you call it? Dress up clothing day? Yeah, they ain't going to have no, no standardized tests about this shit. But anyway. It just is what it is. Can it? Um, be good to yourself. And stop stressing yourself out. It's all this man-made shit. These um, teachers putting up there for y'all to do. Okay, they don't know y'all finances in the damn show. Don't know y'all mentality. Okay, so they need to chill, chill on that bill. I got you, Candy Girl. I know. I raised one, and they had that silly shit. And I used to be telling them, why y'all be gone doing all this shit? You know what I'm saying? Can y'all wait to the end of the year and let them do what they want to do? Okay, we don't have to have all that. We don't have to have all that. Learn them that shit. They ain't got to actually dress up at the time. Or just have one week where y'all dress up on whoever y'all want to dress up for the whole week. You know what I'm saying? Do that shit. Okay. And that, don't be telling them when you, what you coming in as. You just supply their ass and see if they know. That's why I, I would have played a can. Like, let us just have one month. We'll say it's Black History Month. And we just come in. Little our kids come in however we want them to come in with whoever they feel that they need to be coming in as. And y'all, as teachers, okay? The scholars, y'all try to figure out who they are. Okay? That would have been that's why I would do that show and tell the shit. But anyway, that's just me. That's just me, Candy. But anyway, if y'all uh get down in those comments, let me know how y'all thought about Candy disciplining herself, correcting herself, criticizing herself for missing a couple of days. Her child did not actually show up and show out on the right days to present an outfit, but it just is what it is. Okay, like I said it's here what it is, hell. Let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. Let it fly. But okay, that's all I got for this video. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.